let's check the part two of the your molex ion and in the part two passage we can see there is clubs for students and along with the questions that are there are the question that asks you which paragraph tells this 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 about the reading passage and most likely they are not straightforward for GT, it is not that straightforward, and most of the time you have to use your logic and analyze the question, go back to the passage, and then come back and just check what is the question about. Is it the same thing that is in the passage? So let's begin and see what exactly the passage is all about, and then we will be coming back to the questions, and we will see why the answers are so so the passage is about clubs for students. Most important tip for IELTS reading, one of the most important tip, not the most. So one of the most important tip for IELTS reading, either you are doing it for academic or GT, would be checking the title of the passage. So the passage says it is about clubs. Clubs is like groups where there are some kinds of entertainment done or groups where you can learn something so clubs for students again with students it is not anybody who is working full-time i would say and they're not studying at all but they have to study either part-time full-time anything like that so let's just see what the para is about clubs for students there are a variety of clubs which provide social and cultural activities for those wishing to meet others with similar interest from the same or from different national backgrounds. So they are trying to give examples, I would say, about clubs which will be showing some social cultural activities about people with same interest and they're coming maybe from the same or different backgrounds so it can be painting club for students who are coming from Asia like India China Korea or maybe it is a photography club only for the students coming from Canada maybe so something like that so let's begin with a a is Commonwealth Trust. Organize discussion meetings, learned talks, cultural events, excursions to places of interest and invitation to major British diary events. So this is about some meetings, some talks. For example, you can imagine something like TED Talks. So some talks some meetings, cultural events, excursion to different places. Maybe they are taking you to museum and invitation to some major British diary events. So some of the major events that happens in Britain. So invitations to those. Next line is open to overseas visitors and students. So in this one, if you are coming from a different country, you are not from the same country and you are a student, of course, so you will be having the permission to join this club. Next, B, Charles Pegay Center, French Youth Center providing advice, support and information to young Europeans aged between 18 to 30. So the first line tells you two things first it is a French youth center so that's Fra French by nationality from France and they provide advice and support and whom do they provide that they provide that to young Europeans so Europeans people of Europe and the age also is mentioned next Facilities include an information and advice service regarding education. So that's what the facility is about. Advice regarding education. They can be consultants. They are giving you some kind of, like they are guiding you, maybe for your future study, anything like that. 
So whenever you're reading anything like that, try to imagine what kind of different things or options you might be getting from the words. For example, the advice service regarding education, consultants, or you can say counseling. There are counselors who give you certain advices or education advisors. Anything can be like that. Next, what they say, they say work placement and general welfare rights. So that is a club or a group that will give you work placement. So they will be searching for jobs that you would be eligible to do. And being a student, that would also look whether you are eligible to work for certain hours. That should be in our mind because I don't know about the countries that you're watching from, but in Canada, it is like if you are a student, you have to like work like the maximum hours that you are permitted to work being a student or being on a study visa is 20 hours. Once you get your work permit, you are free to do how much like work you want. But once you are entering the country as a student on a study visa, it is 20 hours maximum. And in Canada, 40 hours is a full-time job. Or maybe sometimes it is 35 or 38 hours. But anything which is less than that, like 20 hours, is a part-time job. So even if they're giving you like a work placement, it won't be a full-time. Just keep that thing in your mind because whatever they are providing to students study study visa and again the time limit for working next moreover the center holds a database of jobs so they have a list of jobs maybe they are searching that online or they have the employers contacting them asking them to provide some of the eligible employees this happens for example, there are some helping centers in Canada and what they do and they are especially for the immigrants. So whenever you are arriving in Canada, you are going to those centers. They will be taking the details. They will be taking your CV and maybe in a week or two, they will be calling you sometimes or they will be forwarding those CVs to all those employers who are looking for employees if you are coming in here as a student you have done your studies in arts like humanities and you can teach so they are might be they are getting some kind of vacancies they can see some vacancies for for example they can see that for children who are not getting enough education and that's kind of a charity but they are trying to um, get that employees in that they are paying salary they are paying you to teach children it is kind of a charity for the organization but they are paying you something or if you have studied in mechanical engineering so they are so the, giving their like your cv to somebody like in the automobile industry and um, you can get a call from anybody who is working in Honda asking you that whether you will be interested in working as a team member with us, something like that. So they do have a database of jobs, accommodation and au pair. Au pair placement means somebody who is working kind of in a nanny job. Like you have to take care of the home, you have to keep the home clean and most importantly for these jobs they try to get women they try to employ women so again these are the kinds of jobs that this Charles Pegasus Center will be trying to check for and um, next I say specifically in London so that's the city that they have mentioned that specifically in London only they will be trying to get you the placements and you will be working in that area okay so let's try to see what they say again hmm. members may use a fax machine a copier and computers for CVs so they're also saying if you are having your CV the members can fax that to the companies or they can copy your CV and keep it with them 
are they are having their computers maybe if you are electronically sending your CVs via emails next is the hours of operation so they say hours Monday 14 and so this is the 24 hours clock that they are using so it is 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock and that is also 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday to Friday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And they have nothing like about mentioned about Saturdays or Sundays, so we are assuming they are closed. Next is membership, thirty-five pounds per year plus five pounds per month. So this is the yearly subscription or membership fees, and then five each month, five pound each month that you are paying. Next, C. Kensington Committee of Friendship for Overseas Students. So the previous one was only for the young students who are Europeans within the age limit and they had a time limit. Next thing, it is for overseas students. So KCOF, which is a short form of Kensington Committee of Friendship for Overseas Students, so is the Society for Young People from all countries, yeah, overseas. Each month there are some 40 parties, discos, visits to theaters, concerts, walks, and other gatherings where you will be able to meet lots of people. A new program is sent each month directly to members. $5 to join in October, less later in the year. So, they're saying this is a society for young people, young people, young students from all countries. And there are some kinds of like activities they do each month where you will be able to meet lots of people because they say it is a committee of friendship. So you will be able to meet lots of people and new program is sent each month directly to members. So whenever there is a new program, it is sent to the members and the price to join is five pounds. If you are joining in October, if that's later in the year, it will be less. I'm assuming in the winters, there are less activities, maybe for that reason or something like that events are free or at low often reduced prices so this is one thing that is better than the last one because it was 35 pounds and they are say they are either free or often reduced prices office open 10 30 a.m to 5 30 weekdays only so monday to friday 10 30 to 5 30 d Royal Overseas League, that's a good name, open 365 days per year. This is a club with facilities in London and Edinburgh with restaurant, bars and accommodation. So this para like this D is saying about a club that is open 365 days like it is open throughout the year. And it is having its facilities in London and Edinburgh. Next, there are branches around the world and 57 reciprocal clubs worldwide. So the facilities are in two of the cities, but the branches, there are 57 branches worldwide. Quarterly magazines, literary lectures, annual music and art competitions, and summer and winter program of events for members. So what are the different kinds of activities they have? These are the ones. Membership fees, overseas students aged 17 to 24, 47 pounds per year, plus initial joining fee, which is $23.50. Sorry, pounds. I'm so used to dollars. <laughs> Others, 70 pounds per year. Initial joining fee is 35 pounds. 
So, when you see these, it is just the half, the additional joining fee is the half of the yearly fee that I can see. Half price after July. So, if you are joining after July, it will be half. Further information from the member secretary. So, if you need any further information about anything regarding the club, you should be contacting whom? It should be the membership secretary. Okay, next one is E. YMCA London Central. Facilities include photography, art, drama, pottery, language courses, badminton, squash, exercise to music, circuit training, sports clinic, fitness testing, and other activities. They have a wide variety of activities going on, which is really interesting because not everybody is interested in meeting people. Not everybody is interested in writing songs or poems and whatnot. So they have all these kinds of activities that can interest any kind of person. Next, they say about the hours. Hours, weekdays, 7 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. So that's 22.30, so 10.30 p.m. Weekends, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. So they are open weekdays and weekends. Next, membership fees, aged 16 to 17, 25 pounds per year, plus attendance charge of one pound 30 per visit, aged 18 to 19, is 213 pounds per year aged 20 to 25 is 366 pounds per year now the last two paragraphs f london intervarsity club ivc ivc is an activities and social club with a varied range of events from cycling and drama to windsurfing and yoga so they are also having different kinds of activities next most members are young english professionals but overseas visitors are welcome so most members in this club are english professionals so that is kind of a category that it has been putting into but again they say that overseas visitors are welcome too the club arranges restaurant meals, dancing, and parties, weekends away around Britain, plus a weekly club night in a Covent Garden bar. There are usually over 25 different events every week run by IVG members for IVC members. To find out more, telephone the club or write free post to the office. So again, they are saying that the club arranges so many things and it is usually around like the weekends away around the Br Britain. So you will be traveling within Britain and seeing something. You will be eating in the restaurant in Britain. And they also say that there is a weekly club night that is also arranged. And there are 25, like almost more than 25 events that is happening for this club and to find out more this is the way you are trying to contact the office last one g central club provides accommodation and club facilities no membership fee so again when you are going through a reading passage seeing something with membership fees over and over and over and then you see something like this no membership fees Try to remember that when you are going through the questions because that is a striking feature of the reading. Among all of those, this is the only club that is not saying anything regarding taking the fee. So you can underline that or highlight that whenever you are going through the reading. Next, coffee shop open for all meals. Swimming pool open 6 a.m. Multi-gym hairdressing salon. So again, you can see that there is a lack of punctuation in the reading. But while you are reading that, if you try to read it in the way that 
you sometimes try to fill in the gaps. For example, after meals, there was no like comma, but it was like, ah, meals and swimming pool. They don't go like that, like hand by hand. So it's meals and then swimming pool. So this was all about the reading that we had. And next we will be checking the questions. Now let's check the questions. You are advised to spend 20 minutes on questions 15 to 29. Questions 15 to 21. Look at the article, Clubs for Students. Which club would you contact for each of the requirements below? Write the appropriate letter A to G in boxes. 15 to 21 on your answer sheet. You may use each letter more than once. So that is something you should be looking into whenever you are trying to solve the reading because sometimes this is not mentioned and you are like helpless that I'm having option A for 15 and option A for 17. What should I do? So this is really important to see the instructions. The first one has been done for you as an example and we won't be skipping the example too. So let's see what's the example. You wish to go swimming at 7 a.m. every morning. The answer that they said was G. So let's go to the G para and see how. We are in the G para, the para that we explained at the last. So swimming pool is in here and what we can see from the swimming pool that the swimming pool open 6 a.m. So if you are planning to go swimming at 7 a.m. in Paraji, the central club will be the best option because the swimming pool opens at 6 a.m. Next, question 15. You would like to take Spanish classes. I haven't read the word Spanish in the para, so we have to analyze that. So let's go back and let's try to see which para is giving you a bit of hint about anything regarding language. So does para A give you any hint about international language or something? I don't see that. Does that para B say it is about jobs? So no. Para C. This is more about all things to do. So no. D. No restaurant, bars, clubs and everything else. But not language. Um, let's see. Here they said something. But that's lectures. Not language. Like Spanish for we like simplified reasons obvious reasons e let's see what they say photography art drama pottery language courses so i can see language courses in e let's see if there is language courses in f um they say something about cycling drama windsurfing to yoga and then they say nothing about language and G says nothing about language too. So if you want to learn Spanish, let's go back to the question. You would like to take Spanish classes. So come and join the YMCA London Central because they will be having the facilities that would have language courses. Spanish is included in that. Next question is, you want to join a club that has international branches. Let's go back to the question and let's try to see what they say about international branches. A. Do they say anything about international branches? No, they say it is open for overseas and visitors. Like overseas visitors and students. B. Do they say anything about international branches? I don't see that. It says something about French Youth Center, but not international. Let's go to C. They say that it's, it is a society for young people from all countries, but they don't say anything that says about branches or international branches. D, Royal Overseas League. They are in London and Edinburgh. 
and then they say there are branches so the first thing to look here is the keyword the keyword is branches and what branches around the world that's what international branches say or mean so branches around the world is international branches and for that reason 16 would be found in the parody let's move to next question 17 would you like an opportunity to speak in public okay and let's see which para would be saying anything about public speaking and so on so this has discussion meetings okay learn talks Somewhere in the back of my head, when I said about TED Talks, I said talks. What can talks be? Like, what are the synonyms of talks? If you're talking, it means you are speaking to somebody. If you are speaking, it can be you are speaking on a stage. If you are speaking on a stage, you are speaking to a public so those are the things that we try to analyze and because it is a group like it is a club you won't be speaking alone there will be people in front of you and that is what we mean by public speaking so that's the reason and again discussion meetings so meetings talks public speaking next and yeah, I can show you why the other paras are not giving you any hints for public speaking. So let's move to para B. Does para B has anything to say about speaking, talking, or anything like that that we saw in para A? I don't see anything because it is about jobs mostly. C, they say mostly about entertainments. Though they say about other gatherings, but that's mostly in the form of entertainment. D is about bars and eating and literary lectures. They say something about literary lectures. I won't like say that only A says about speaking and not any other para. But again, literary lectures is on literature and public speaking covers more than that next e if we see e we don't see anything that has to do with public speaking f nothing with public speaking and g nope nothing with public speaking okay so going back to the question d sorry 18 <laughs> you would like to take part in amateur theoretical production so 18 is amateur means you are not a pro in that theoretical means theater or things related to theater production you all know that movie production movie producer all those words that comes from that production only let's see where we can see amateur theoretical production or anything similar to that okay commonwealth trust do we see anything about theoretical production or anything regarding theater i don't see that b is about job now we have like remembered and everything about b so let's skip c c let's see what c says it is about so C says something about visit to theaters. Let's mark that. But does that say anything about production? I don't see anything like that. D open, but they are also speaking about bar and I highlighted that by mistake. So going to there and then I see literary lectures, annual music and so on. So D is also not saying anything with theoretical production. Next, let's check E and what E says. So E says something about art drama. So let's mark 
that. Hmm. And what does that say? It says facilities include photography, art, drama, pottery, language courses. So the facility is including something regarding art, drama in theater. What we know, it is mostly about drama. I'm just showing that this one in C just says visit to theaters. And this one, it is about courses or activities so art drama comes nearest to theoretical productions like how you're producing and like Romeo Juliet or how you're producing a play producing anything that is related to theater next we will be checking F and G just to make sure that nothing is left out so does F says something about art, drama, theater. I don't see that because it's mostly about entertainment and restaurant dancing and so on. And neither does she say anything about that. Next question 19. You want to visit some famous sites with a group of other students. So group of other students and you are visiting some places which are famous. Let's go back to the passage. Do you think it can be found in A? Let's see. It has discussion, meetings, talks, cultural events, excursion. Excursion is visiting. So let's mark that excursion part. Excursions to places of interest and invitations okay so this one looks good to me so excursion to places of interest and what the question says it is about some famous sites with group of other students and the a is about group of other students that you can see that open to overseas visitors and students and the places of interest and even they say invitation to major British diary events so again that is about famous sites okay if we can always try to see if the other paras has something like that hint so let's check the other para B it is about job C it is about Mostly that it says parties, discos, concerts, and so on. D, it is about, again, restaurant, bar, accommodation. E is about language courses, badminton, squash, and exercise, and so on, like activities, but not about excursion or going somewhere, like touring somewhere. F, F is also about some physical activities. G, G is mostly like coffee shop and swimming pool or gym, hairdressing salon. So it is also not about that. So A will be the answer for our question 19, 20. You are interested in finding out about part-time work. Which para talks about job? It should be imbibed in our mind right now because we has like seen over and over while going through this B para that they said so much about jobs, so much. So if you see this one, work placement, database of jobs and so many things. And again, you won't see that they have mentioned anything about part time. But they have mentioned the age 18 to 30 and they have also like the passages about students. Putting that in mind, it would be part-time job because in the beginning I said if you are a student, you would be getting lesser time to work because it is illegal in some countries to make students work more than 20 hours because they have to study and these countries feel students are the future of the country. So making them work for 40 hours a week and also they are going to school is something that the government does not give a thumbs up so that's the reason work placement would be part-time for sure 
2021, you want to meet some English people who have started their career. We read somewhere about English professionals. Let's see where. A did not say anything about that. Neither did B. C, nothing about that. Let's check D. Nope. E, I don't see that. F, I can see young English professionals. So the question also says something similar to that. The question says English people who have started their careers. So English people who have started their careers, young, starting, amateur, no, whatever you can say, but young is the starting. So we are done with questions 15 to 21. And I hope that whenever you are solving the reading, you take that as a fun activity not anything that you are struggling with and you feel that you just want to get over that one hour one hour done and you are done with reading that's it don't read it like that take your time practice the reading once you feel comfortable you will be finding that that you are finishing your reading even before the time stops during my examination, I was done with the reading passage in 35 minutes approximately. And after that, I tried revising that because it was my first time taking the exam and I was nervous like everybody else. And I tried revising that over and over and over. I guess I did that for six times. Then I was like, ah, nah, I'm not taking that anymore. So, yeah, that was a fun thing. But... For you, if you feel nervous, don't feel that you have to, like, it is do or die thing. Don't feel it like that way. It is just like mm, a fun thing. You're reading. Reading can be kind of an activity, a fun activity, kind of an entertainment. Think it like that. Like, think that you are reading something for making you happy and then go on with the passage. Okay. So we will be trying the next passage of the part two. The next set of questions for part two is something that IELTS student generally does not like that part because it is true, false, not given, or sometimes it comes at yes, no, not given. So whenever students find these questions, they feel that what if I'm making a mistake and the not given is actually false or vice versa? Sometimes also some lines are so vague that you will feel that, yeah, that has been said in the paragraph, but it would be like something not given. So sometimes things are not straightforward. Sometimes it is not clear or you have just skipped that line. So these kind of like questions whenever they are coming in the examination is really really good for you why because you would be analyzing the lines and the passage and there is kind of a formula that you use to see whether whatever you are seeing in the line in the questions like these they are actually true or actually not given or false and how to do that? We will be doing that after we are done with the explanation of the passage. So let's go to the passage and do the explanation. So this passage is about International Students House. International Students House is a unique club and accommodation center for British and overseas students in London. It is located in the heart of London's West End and is close to all public transport facilities. So the first para is trying, not the first para, it is the introductory lines. So the introductory lines are trying to describe what is exactly the international student's house. Next, accommodation. Comfortable accommodation 
for up to 450 people in single twin three-fourth bedded and multi-bedded rooms so the accommodation or the total number of people they can accommodate is 450 and what kind of bedrooms or rooms do they have they have single room they have twin rooms like single for single person twin for two people three-fourth bedded and multi-bedded multi-bedded or multi-bedded it can be a big hall which is having lots of rooms like the squid game tv series that we had seen or maybe you have seen hostels where there are kind of bunk beds and people they sleep there and stay there 44 self-contained flats for married students and families so it has 44 apartments or flats for couples and families couples means married couples of course long and short stays welcomed so if you want to stay there for a week or if you want to stay there for a whole year something like that and they might be describing what do they mean by long and short stays next membership club membership is open to all full-time students professional trainees student nurses and au pair so they are saying about whom the club membership can go to so the club membership or anybody who wants to be members for the club they can be students for yeah of course it will be students next it can be professional trainee somebody who is professional in the field but they are also getting trained on something student nurses they are studying in their nursing school and au pair is again nannies or female who are taking care of the household and doing those kind of jobs membership costs are kept to an absolute minimum to enable the widest possible access so yeah their membership cost is really low so that a number of people can join you can join for as little as one month or up to one year at a time so yeah there they are describing about the long and short stays short stay is for one month and long stay is for one year or up to one year membership entitles you to use the various facilities of the house it has restaurant student bars and coffee shop study rooms clubs and societies aerobics and fitness training discos dance jazz and cinema travel and excursion and much more so they are just giving you examples of some of the facilities that the house or the international student house has next the best way to check out all we have is on offer is to drop in any tuesday evening between 7 15 pm and 8 30 pm for open house so the best way to check out all that they have to offer is to just visit the place because they are also mentioning they are having an open house open house means when you don't need any appointment to visit the place you just go hop in and you're like oh yeah i'm here show me what do you have just like that so for open house in the club room so where they're having that open house they're having that in the club room this is an opportunity for you to meet the staff and other club members enjoy a free cup of coffee and find out all about what's going on so you can have a free cup of coffee and talk about the stuff that you want to know with the staff or the club members you can take advantage of special membership offers useful to bring along three passport size photographs if you wish to take out membership so if you want to be the member of that club or that student's house you need to bring three passport size pictures because if you keep that handy and on the spot you decided to join them being a member you can use like you can just on the spot give your passport set of pictures and you are done 
advice service thanks to the support of STA Travel and in association with LCOS, the London Conference on Overseas Students, International Student House now provides the service of an international student advisor. So they got, like they are grouped with LCOS and STA is supporting them. And now they have somebody who provide the service of an advisor. This new welfare service is open to all students at London's Bonafide Academic Institution. So, the student advisor or what do you mean by counsellor that is open to every single bona fide, means genuine, legit. So, every single legit academic institution in London. It aims to provide welfare support to help students overcome any personal or practical difficulties they may be experiencing while studying in Britain. So that student advisor, they counsel students for maybe anything that is coming in between the students and their studies. And they give moral support, something like that. One of the key features of the advice service is that the advisor can be seen during the evenings until about 8 p.m. Monday to Thursday. So that's the time mentioned when you can see the advisor. Next, Christmas and New Year. Unable to get home for Christmas? How about joining in the fun at International Students House? Check out our special program of activity taking place over the Christmas period. Even come and stay. The house will be offering reduced accommodation rates for students wishing to spend a few days in London over Christmas. We'll also have an exciting New Year's Eve party. So come and join us and ring in the New Year in the spirit of internationalism. So they are also mentioning at the last para that if you are not going or you are not going back to your country or your home by any chance, you can join the International Students House and you can check the special program, the activities that they are all having over there. And at that time, the house will be offering you reduced accommodation rates because if you want to spend a few time or like a few days for Christmas and New Year, it is almost like a week that the Christmas and New Year falls in between. Like there is a week gap. So if you want to join that and you will be like joining the International Students House, you will have fun during that time. And they are also providing that service and cheap rate. So that was all about the para. And now finding the answers, either true, false, not given would be something fun. So let's check the question. Read the article on International Students House that we have already done and look at the statements below in boxes 22 to 29 on your answer sheet right. True. If the statement is true, false. If the statement is false, not given. If the information is not given in the passage. Here, another thing that I just recalled is sometimes students have a tendency to write TFNG. Although some teachers say that you can write TFNG, but rule of thumb is whatever is mentioned in the question should be followed. So if they say that in your answer, answer sheet, write true in bold you should be writing true and so on there is another benefit of this sometimes when you are trying to solve the true false not given and there is less amount of time because you are going back and forth and struggling with the true false not given all of a sudden you forget that it is a question on true false not given and you feel that oh it is yes no not given i have seen so many papers like answer sheets i would say for the students where they do the same mistake and not only academic 
GT students also do the same thing because when you are under pressure, time is going fast, something slip out of our mind, like maybe it is TFNG or YNNG. So if you're following the questions like what is given as an instruction in the question and going by that, whenever you're trying to write true, write true because one NG can make you feel that the next question is Y instead of T because NG is a common thing, not given is a common thing and that can confuse and has confused many students I have seen. So just try to see what the question is saying. It is TFNG or YNNG that is true, false, not given or yes, no, not given. Try to follow like exactly what the question says, writing T-R-U-E. It might take two or three seconds extra, but doing that will be making sure of everything that you have done was mentioned in the question and also less chances of creating the mistakes. So let's start with the example. We should not leave the examples. That's what I feel. When I was a student, I did the same. I used to check why the example is false and then carry on with the rest questions. So the example is, the club is for overseas students only. And they say it is false. Let's go back to the passage and see why is it false. So if we go at the top and check the question again, for overseas students only, only, that can be the thing. Let's go back to the passage, International Students House. International Student House is a unique club and accommodation center for there. So when there is something like only or all, like generalizing something, you will feel like it will be your gut feeling that maybe the problem is with that word. So here we can see that the example that was there, it is for British and overseas students in London, which means it is not for overseas students only. And that makes a contradiction to the statement for which it is false. Because if you do it like that, like divide the part of the questions, like the club, yeah, it is about the club is for yeah it is for or it is not for overseas students only so this part is the contradictory part 22nd the club has long-term dormitory op accommodation sorry dormitory up accommodation is our option i was going to say option long-term dormitory accommodation dormitory is a big hall in which a number, a large number of people can stay. So the club has that facility. And where did we read that? Let's go back to the passage and check the lines. And here you see accommodation and then you see 44 self-contained flats for married students and families. Just above that, do you see multi-bedded rooms? So whenever you are seeing multi-bedded rooms, that is what the dormitory means. Dormitory is a large room having multi beds or it accommodates a large number of people. So for this question, as I'm seeing the three parts or the number of parts or the divided portion that the club has or the club has long term dormitory accommodation so three of the parts that is the club has or has not it can be and then again long term can be a part then yes it is for long term because they said short term long term both are there as an option and dormitory is also there so it will be true as all of the parts you are finding all of the parts in the question let's go back and see exactly the same so i will be also marking the long there so multi-bedded rooms that is dormitory and long so long term stay next question membership must be renewed monthly 
So let's go back to the passage and see what they say about membership. Next para is about membership. And they said in the question that it should be renewed monthly. So these are the lines. You can join for as little as one month or for up to one year at a time. This question says membership must be renewed monthly. So if we again try to divide the question that one part will be membership. And again, you see must. There is an obligation that, yeah, it should be. So must. And whenever you see this gut feeling, go with your gut feeling that must. Let's see if there is something contradictory. So renewed monthly and must be renewed monthly is getting contradicted when we see that you can join for maybe a short period of stay. That is one month or long period up to one year. So that's the reason it is getting contradicted with must be renewed monthly, something like a strong statement. And for that reason, it is false. B, sorry, 24. The club provides subsidized restaurant meals. Is there anything in the passage that we read about subsidized restaurant meals? Let's go back and check the para. If they say anything about meals, so again, we will try to see if they have said anything about meals. It says about facilities like coffee shop. So it is not something about subsidized or meals because they haven't mentioned the price. And again, there is a membership. So there is nothing mentioned but that if you are a member, you will get this at cheap cost. Let's see what else is there. They say something about free cup of coffee, but again, they don't say anything but a subsidy. Subsidy means reduced. So subsidy is something when the government is allocating some funds in an institute for students who are studying in there. So the institute decides to provide food to students in a subsidized rate that is a decreased or a reduced rate. For example, if you are paying $3 for your meal under the subsidized rate it can be half like $1.5 for your meal anything like that so that's what is subsidy there are countries where the government they do that which is really good because students they don't work that much they don't earn that much but again they are spending and they have to spend a lot of money for lots of things and if they are having a good meal, that would be helping them whenever they are studying. It will be helping them with their concentration and so on. Okay, so let's check the para. We don't see anything with subsidy or reduced price in this columns. Nope, nothing. So this one will be not given because you don't see anything with reduced price or anything that says cheaper price, but they just say free cup of coffee or they say with your membership, you can just get various facilities. That's it. So let's move to the next question. The club is open to non-members on Tuesday evenings. And that's the 25th question. Okay, let's move to the passage and see where the club is open to non-members on Tuesday evenings are. So when we see this, do we see anything regarding Tuesday? I can see open house and Tuesday. So let's check what they say after highlighting that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do it till open house and I did that fully. Okay, I'm a noob in this. So, mm. okay, perfect. Not perfect. I did not mark the house. There. Hmm. The best way to check out all we have is on all we have to on offer is to drop in on any Tuesday. So they say something about Tuesday that we can see. And what's the question was? They say club is open to non-members. Non-member, non-member. Where do they say non-member? Let's check the other words that is there. And 
here they say that it is open and you can meet different kind of staff and other club members so you can join too so whenever you can join something means you are not already a member of that like that club and if you are joining that means you are being a member so that only tries to exclude stuff and you can see if you divide the para or the sentence the club is open yes it is open to non-members so yeah because if you can join you are bringing your passport size photo so you are a non-member at that time on tuesday evenings evening yes 7 15 pm to 8 30 pm is evening next sta travel help finance the student advisor so we read something about sta and we read that in this advice service para so let's go back to the question again sta travel we heard the name we read the name help finance the student's advisor three parts we have seen in there and now let's check out how the three parts are located or they are not located at all anything can happen so let's go back to the passage and so let's read these lines it aims to provide welfare support to health students overcome any personal or practical difficulties they may be experiencing while studying in Britain so again they have said that they are providing some support and what kind of support they said it is welfare support so when you are reading something like welfare what does the like exact word that comes to your mind for welfare it is associated with health wealth also and happiness so if you are supporting somebody with welfare it can be that you are also supporting that person regarding their health and so on and for that if you are checking this help finance the student's advisor so sta travel is helping for sure and what they are helping in this place it is the welfare support that they are helping so finance is coming from the word welfare sometimes it is really hard for this question it is because you won't be seeing the exact word the exact like synonym in here but you need to just think welfare has different meanings and financial support is one of the meaning for welfare so this is the para like this is the question and that is a para which is a little bit tricky if you know the meaning it will help you if you try to analyze that it will help you too but students get confused in this para or in this question and they feel this should not be true for any reason because you don't see finance you don't see economy nothing like that just welfare and for that reason they put it as false or not given because they support but with welfare support so it is not finance according to some who they don't know the meaning and so you are not getting this part so cross out this part and then you say okay it is welfare so it's kind of contradictory but if you know the meaning you will know that it is not contradictory and again they will feel that it is mentioning about welfare but nothing like not finance so it is not given and again it is not not given because finance welfare they are the same thing you just need to know the meaning that's it and the more you read it will clarify and the more you try to check for any word that you don't know like it does not sound familiar it does not look familiar it will be helping you to build your vocabulary list you don't need to write that if you want you can but if you want to just check the meaning and then go on it is also a good way because you will remember something of that whenever you are doing the reading let's move to the next question 
The services of the student's advisor are free to all club members. Let's see if that's so. So the same passage, they say one of the key feature of the advice service is that the advisor can be seen during this, 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 this. Okay, and is there anywhere they say anything free about seeing the advisor? I don't see anything like that in the passage personally. So for me, what I felt and what was the answer to, this is not given because being something like this service is free is not given in the passage. It does not exist in the passage. So clearly it is not given. Let's check 28. You must make an appointment to see the student's advisor. Okay, let's check that same, same para. So the last few lines says the key features that they can be seen during evenings until about 8 p.m. So Monday to Thursday evenings to 8 p.m. You can see the student advisor. But again, nowhere they said that it is open house like the previous para or you need to have an appointment or you need to book in advance, anything like that. So again, if you try to divide the para or sorry, the question, you must, the word is there, must. So must make an appointment. We don't see that option anywhere in the para or the whole passage. So that's the reason why it is not given. Last question for the set. There will be a surcharge for accommodation over the Christmas period. We just read the opposite. Yep. If you are following along with me, you will also agree that you just read the opposite while we were reading this Christmas and New Year. And what we saw regarding the price for the Christmas and New Year. So, I will just... Hmm, there. Even come and stay. The house will be offering reduced accommodation rates for students wishing to spend a few days in London over Christmas. The para says there will be a surcharge for accommodation. Sorry, the question says there will be a surcharge for accommodation and the para says the opposite. So the exact opposite of the contradiction of there will be a surcharge. This part, it is that and due to that reason that 29 will be false and i hope that you guys also got the same results as of me and i'm the reason i'm making this videos part by part is there are different types of questions that you are answering and also you're trying to spend lesser time when you're trying to solve this like 20 minutes for part one 20 minutes for part two 20 minutes for part three so if part one is having two sections so you're spending 10 minutes if you're following along the video and then you are seeing the explanation and checking why the answers are like that and why not like that that's the reason i'm trying to make it short otherwise i don't want you to spend an hour in reading get bored because you some of you might feel reading is not that interesting and then spend more than an hour with the video trying to scratch your head and at that time if i was in your spot i would be like nope i'm not watching that let's watch tv so that's the reason i'm trying to make it short and simple and if you like my video you can give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel you can comment and also you can push the bell icon or the bell button that i love to call and also i will be bringing more videos i'm posting this gt reading and i will be completing the gt reading in the next video with the last passage so that if you're following along with the videos you will be able to complete the reading uh, the most like popular reading in ielts gt and i wish you all the best if you are taking the exam really soon I will try to post some of the writing videos too and I will be waiting for your samples for writing task too. If you would like to send that, you can check the community and you can send that to me. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.